Okay, it is time for Emerald Eats, where we highlight amazing food in our area. Yeah, today we're joined by executive chef Tyler Smith at All Water Seafood and Hi. Oyster Bar in a Hotel 1000, that's right? That's right, oh. Hotel 1000. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. So, uh, All Water Seafood and Oyster Bar located down by the waterfront and brings the ocean right to your table. So, talk to us about the menu. Well, we do a lot of Pacific Northwest seafood. Mm -hmm. Uh, we stick to uh, all regional oysters and halibut and salmon and a lot of foraged goods from the Cascades too. So we get wild mushrooms and fiddlehead ferns and all kinds of fun stuff that foragers can bring down right from the mountains outside of Seattle. Love to eat local. And you've got a seafood dish and a vegetarian dish today. Yeah, so yeah. let's get started. First we're going to make a little king salmon pokey. Wow, I'm really impressed at the speed which you can chop the chef's uh, chop. Uh, He's looking at uh, yeah. 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 It makes me so nervous. <laughs> I cannot do that. No, it's easy. With no <laughs> practice, it's How easy. How long did it take you to learn how to do that? Uh, a couple years. How yeah. many to maintain eye contact. Uh, <laughs> I've been through a few band-aids. Uh, more than one or two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so you also recently launched an oyster hour every day. So talk to us behind uh, about what's behind those specials. Yeah, from uh, 3 to 5 p.m. every day, seven days a week, we have oyster happy hour. Oh. So again, featuring only oysters from the Pacific Northwest. I get them as far as British Columbia sometimes, mm. oh, wow. but pretty much just in uh, the Puget Sound region. Okay. And and uh, so we do dozens of oysters for $27. Oh, uh, oh, it's a hell of a deal. Yeah, can't, tasty. Yeah, you can't beat that deal in what town. What are you and putting in here right now? I've got some green onions, mm -hmm. scallions, some king salmon. I'd used Walla Walla onion, which is sweet onion from Washington. Oh. And local sea beans. So, sea beans? Yeah. Tell us about those. Well, they grow underwater. They're kind of like a... They have a flavor of almost like asparagus that grows in salt water. Oh, interesting. So yeah, please try them. They're nice and salty, but yet have that really nice green vegetable. It's very salty. Green vegetable flavor. The the beauty of using these in pokey is that I don't have to add salt. Yeah. I mean, they make up for the salt in the dish. Do they just soak up the salt in the ocean? Is that pretty much? Yeah. yeah. It's good though. It's yeah. Like, pretty much. Uh, Potato chip, but healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah, really tasty stuff. And they keep me from adding salt to this, which mm -hmm. salt will slowly cook your fish and discolor it. Oh. Uh -huh. So you want to, like, keep the salt nice content and bright. down. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It keeps the colors nice and bright. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. My goodness, I love the color in here. Now, uh, talk to us about uh, why the summer months especially are the perfect time to eat something like this. I mean, it's so fresh. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. summer is when king salmon is in season, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. so that's definitely the best time to eat it. You know, we have the beautiful Copper River right now. We have all kinds of troll king from many different places in Alaska. Mm -hmm. And also the halibut right now is fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as well, as this is the time of year where everything's just growing around here. You know, we've all been locked inside for the winters. Yep. Not just the humans, but same with the vegetables. Uh -huh. So your sea beans aren't growing as well. All your local produce isn't growing as well. Nothing's growing in the mountains. And so the summer, spring, summer are my favorite by far. Beautiful. Yeah. So is that like a soy sauce or? This is, yeah, this is a whiskey barrel aged shoyu. Oh, Ooh, very nice. So shoyu is smell, the Japanese right? word for soy sauce. Oh, wonderful. Yep, Can I give please. it a little try? Hey, yeah, let me make some room. All right, thank you. And now you're also going to work on, on some special hummus here. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is a heirloom tomato hummus. So we take heirloom tomatoes and roast them with some herbs and garlic. Okay. And carrots too, right? Yep, and carrots, Beautiful. excuse me, yep. There's heirloom carrots and tomatoes in oh, this wow. dish. So the heirloom carrots are mixed with a bit of garbanzo beans. Uh-huh. I've never That's made beautiful. homemade hummus. I hear it's not as hard as it seems, but uh, fresh hummus it's, always tastes so good. Yes, absolutely. It's fantastic, but you do need a food processor. Oh, right. I love all the extra crunch you're about yeah. to add here. Oh, yeah. So we add the, the heirloom tomatoes, like I was mentioning, that are mm -hmm. cooked with herbs and garlic, and then also some marinated cucumber, Ooh. which is kind of like a quick pickle on the cucumber. There, It's a little mm -hmm. champagne vinegar, sugar, salt, and... Uh, and, you, and mint, and you let that marinate that for so delicious. just a couple hours. Perfect, and you guys also have a craft cocktail bar that's opening this month, right? Yeah, we yeah, we'll be open at the end of the month. It's gonna be called Rose Bay, 
Rose Bay is the name of the a, a type of rhododendron flower, mm -hmm. which is, as you may know, is the state flower of Washington. Mm -hmm. Also has a bit of a nautical theme, being like Bay, Elliott Bay is right here, yeah, you know. Yeah. So we have a bit of a nautical theme going on there. Craft cocktails featuring featuring a lot of local distilleries, uh, local whiskeys and gins. Uh, it'll be a really fun, brand new remodel too. It's gonna be a gorgeous space. And it's almost done. It'll be done in time for All-Star Week and uh, 4th of July. Oh, perfect. Awesome. So I need yeah. to try this. Tried this poke and it was so, it's so fresh and the flavors are like, just kind of mm. a hint of all the different flavors we saw here. So nothing is overpowering anything else, which I loved. This is fantastic. Yeah. You've got to try this too. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's yes, so good. Girl, yeah, this stuff is I fun. love having the veggies in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're making a nice crunch, kind of mm. break up, give it that acidity to kind of cut through the, the creaminess of the hummus. Mm -hmm. This is a great shareable. It'll be on our Rose Bay menu, as well as a lot of other shareable dishes. The, the whole theme of our new bar concept is uh, approachable plates that are shareable amongst friends. Not You could make a meal out of it if you get three or four of them, mm -hmm. but really you just have a couple great cocktails, people yeah. watch, That's so fun. and yeah. have a couple of nice small plates of food. That's beautiful. Wonderful. I also hear there's a Top Golf Suite simulator at this hotel. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Yeah, there is a Top Golf. <laughs> we're, we're calling it the 19th hole. Oh, uh, very nice. Uh -huh. and so it, they will have its own food menu down there, mm -hmm. and and uh, PGA courses, so you can go golf a PGA course in downtown Seattle. Beautiful. You know, oh. Indoors, any time of year, you're not worried about the weather, anything like oh. that. We have, we'll be serving drinks down there. You can have a, a great guys night or girls outing to go shoot some rounds of golf and have some great food and enjoy yourself all while not worrying about the weather. I That's love wonderful. it. Thank you so much for joining us today. More info on our website. We're gonna have some oysters. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Yeah, let's have some oysters. I'm gonna make your day.